In this video, what I'm going to do is uh, make the game look a lot better by making the Mario an animated sprite that's going to stop when I stop and move when I move. So the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, make a Mario animation. So I go to my sprites and I'm going to edit the sprite by loading uh, and creating from a strip. And the strip I'm going to use is the strip in uh, the assignments folder. So if I go to the assignments folder and I look at uh, the pictures I've taken off the internet, here's a Mario strip I uh, edited a little bit uh, to make it a little better uh, in my opinion. So in this one, there's six, it's a Mario strip six. So I, in the file name, I indicated that there was six images. There's only one row, so I'm gonna put six images per row. Um, the width is 16 pixels, which fits well with our grid that we're doing. Our game is done as a 16 by 16. The height though, to get Mario to look good, um, I turn him into a rectangle. So this strip, uh, I purposely made to fit a 16 by 32. So it's a 16 by 32. I press okay. Um, I could take a look at the preview and in the preview, it looks pretty darn good. Okay, so that's my Mario uh, going to the right. I'm gonna do the same thing, um, and I could hit duplicate it, or I'll, I'll show you. Let's let's do it uh, the long way. Sprite Mario to the left, and what I'm going to do is I'll go to Edit. I go File, Create from Strip, and I use that same Mario Strip Six with the six Mario's moving to the right. And there's six images, six images per row, and voila, and here we go. Except for this animation is the same as the other one, it's going to the right. I want it to go to the left. So what I do is under transform, I select uh, mirror horizontal. So now it's gonna flip it and it's going to look like it's going to the left. All six images from zero to five are going left. And so Mario appears to be moving to the left. So I've got a Mario to the left, uh, sub image zero to five, and Mario to the right, sub image zero to five, and they look quite good. Again, um, I wanna uncheck precision collision checking and uncheck preload texture but I do want it transparent because I only want to see the Mario. I don't want to see the green background that we have. Okay, now I need to modify my Mario object. So in my Mario object, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a couple events. I'm gonna start with the key press event. So if I press the left key, so when I press the left key, I wanna go here to uh, main one and tell the sprite to be the left sprite. Speed of one is good. I'm gonna go to add event and if I press the right key, so press the right key, I want the sprite to be the Mario right sprite. Again, a speed of one is good. Finally, I'm gonna use a different type of event for no key. And so I'm gonna say, scan the keyboard for no key. And if no key is pressed, change the sprite to, let's say Mario right by default. So uh, with a speed of zero and it'll do sub image, which is Mario standing still, but the speed is gonna be no speed, no speed on it. So, uh, and then uh, let's take a look at how the game looks now. So what will happen when no key is pressed, Mario's standing still. And if I press left or right, it'll move to the left or right. So if I go right, it goes right, left goes left. And when I jump, um, it jumps and it all looks good. So I think that's a much better uh, game now. 
And uh, we can do that with any sprite, but that's a good idea of how we can make the sprites move only when we're pressing or letting go of the keys.